Hi, I want to welcome you to the section Designing Spring Animation in Swift UI. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to animate the hamburger menu icon into a close icon using nothing but Spring Animation here inside Swift UI. So let's get started. What we are going to do in this animation follows a very simple logic. When the user taps on the hamburger menu icon, we are going to hide the middle view and use rotation to rotate the top view as well as the bottom view. So let's take a look at how to do that. Let's double click these three dots to unfold the code. You can see here I have three rectangles, the one on the top, the middle view and the bottom view. I have also created these three state variables. We are going to use them to animate the hamburger menu to a close icon. We will animate the top view using rotation. For the middle view, we will use scale and opacity. And the bottom view, we are going to use rotation. We will also trigger this animation using human initiated gesture. So let's go to the parent container, which is the VStack containing all the views. Over here, we are going to add the on tap gesture to trigger this animation. Inside the on tap gesture, we would bring all the state variables and toggle their values. So let's copy the first one and paste over here and put dot toggle. Let's then copy this and paste two times and change the middle one to this. And also copy this state variable to replace the third one. What we have to do next is to add the animation modifier to the same parent container, which is the VStack. So over here, I'm going to add the animation modifier and specify the type of ESON. We are going to use an interpolating spring that has stiffness and damping. The stiffness is defined as the tension in the spring. Let's set the value to 300. The damping is also the back drag frictional force that affects this animation. We are going to set it to 15. So we have added an interpolating spring animation and also human initiated gesture to trigger this animation. What we have to do next is to use the state variables to animate the properties of each of the views we want to animate. Let's start with the top view. We are going to animate the rotation of the top view. So let's add the rotation effect modifier just after the corner radius. The rotation effect takes an angle which can be in radians or in degrees. We are going to use degrees. Let's set the angle of rotation to zero for the moment. As I told you before, when the user taps on the hamburger menu icon, we are going to hide the middle view and rotate the top view from the left and also rotate the bottom view from the left. By default, when you add the rotation effect modifier, Swift UI puts the anchor point at the center. Inside the rotation effect modifier, we can move the location of the anchor point to different location using the anchor parameter. So here I'm going to add the anchor parameter. 
it takes a unit point. So we can set it to the leading, trailing, bottom or top. Let's set it to leading. That means we have it moved to the left of the view. Next, we are going to use the state variable of the top view to animate the angle of rotation. So let's copy the state variable and paste over here. We are going to use ternary conditional operation. So when this condition is true, we are going to set the angle of rotation to 48. And when the condition is false, we set the angle of rotation to zero. Let's look at what we have done so far by clicking the live preview. When we tap on the hamburger menu icon, you can see we rotate the top view from the left instead of from the center. Let's copy the animation of the top view and paste on the bottom view. Over here, what we are going to do is to change the angle of rotation. So here, we are going to change the true value to negative 48. Let's preview again by tapping on the hamburger menu icon. You can see by tapping on the hamburger menu icon, we are able to rotate the two views in opposite directions with their anchor points set to the left. What we have to do next is to hide the middle view anytime the user taps on the hamburger menu icon and show it again when we tap on the close icon. To do that, we are going to use scale and opacity. So this is the middle view. Let's add the scale effect modifier. Next, we add the opacity modifier. Let's set the opacity to one. We are going to use the state variable, middle is hidden to animate both the scale and the opacity of this view. We will create this animation using ternary conditional operation. So let's copy the state variable and paste over here. When the condition is true, we are going to set the scale of this view to zero. And when the condition is false, we will set the scale of this view to one. Let's tap on the hamburger menu icon to see what we have done. You can see by tapping, we hide the middle view. If we tap again, it scales. When switching from the hamburger menu icon to the close icon, as the middle view scales down and up, we see it, but we don't want to see the view as it scales. So you can see this small rectangle that shows over here. If we don't want the user to see that, we can use the opacity to enhance this animation in order to hide it. We want to use the same state variable to animate the opacity of the middle view. So let's copy this one and paste over here. Now, if we tap, you can see we switch from the hamburger menu icon to the close icon. And as we switch from one state to another state, we don't see the middle view scaling up and down. We can also specify where we want the middle view to scale from. When we take a closer look at this animation, you can see the middle view is scaling from the center because by default, SwiftUI placed the anchor point at the center of the view. That is why it is scaling from the center.
but we can move the location of the anchor point by specifying the anchor in the scale effect modifier. Over here, we can add the anchor and move it to a different location. Let's move it to the left. We can move it to the left by specifying the anchor as leading. If we tap again, you can see the middle view scales from the left instead of from the center. We can also move it to the right so that the object scales from the right by specifying the anchor as trailing. Now, if we tap and tap again, you can see the middle view is scaling from the right instead of from the center. So with this, we're going to end here. And this is how to animate the hamburger menu icon into a close icon using nothing but spring animation.